Good day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. It's, mm, what day is today? It's Tuesday for me. I am home from work. I feel like playing some NS2. I'm going to play some aliens because I played some marines last night and I want to bring this to you. There's no particular point to this video other than I want to play. And so I want to bring you that play. It looks like, I mean, judging by the fact that we have a crossroads hive with lots of structures in it, I am betting that as soon as I look at the squad, it's going to show some strong... Alien positioning, yes indeed. When you join a game and you want to get a feel for what's happening in that game, before you even look at the scoreboard, you're going to be able to tell by just uh, your surroundings. If you happen to spawn at a hive like Crossroads or uh, Heliport and there's a lot of structures there, it's a good bet that it's an alien dominated game because you don't usually see that unless the aliens are winning lots. So it looks like we've got entrenched positions on either side. We're gonna try and do some hit and run attacks on these sentries. Get some damage down. Gonna switch the alien vision. Oh, there's a grenade. And I am gone. Switching to the alien vision there to try and give some clarity in that complex environment. Saw some interesting commentary on the forums. I'm sorry, I forget who was saying it, about uh, Skulk vs. Marine combat and how it might be uh, the natural selection to uh, natural selection to his immature anim animation system that might be making skulks hard to hit because he was showing some clips of natural selection one combat with skulks fighting marines and it was uh, it was fairly obvious it were easy to hit and the, whoa there's a flamer that is going to cause some sort of issues unless is this build one eight seven no it's not build one eight seven didn't go out am I going to make it back to the hive in time yes I am the double leap getting me back there anyway so. Because the skulk, uh, the skulk body never was animated in Natural Selection 1, but it is animated in Natural Selection 2. So that was interesting, and it made me think, well, we can look forward to a fix on that when, um, hey, get out of here, Marine. What do you think you're doing killing our hive? We can look forward to a fix with that because Unknown Worlds has been working on their new animation system. It's a new animation graph system, and it is likely to uh, significantly improve animations and the, the smoothness with which animations switch. So if you watch that skulk there, right there was a perfect example, leaping around all over those railings. An arc, what on earth? Whoa, okay, gonna try and get up on the roof. Come back down in the middle of these rings and do some damage. Hopefully that fade is taking some damage for me. Why am I not killing this guy? Wow, I really thought I deserved to kill Ogs there, but he does kill me, and that hive has died. That's very sad. Great to see the Marines pushing back this quite clear alien domination in this game. Makes it a lot more fun. Can we kill this Ark? Yes, I think we can. That's a blow to any Marine team trapped on only a few pound uh, resource notes. Killing the flame for a wielding Marine as well. Ethnix goes down before I am flogged by Mr. Alchemy Sentry Turrets. Mr. Alchemy must be the commander. Mr. Alchemy is a great team player. I would be afraid if I was going up against him in a team game. Update for the tournament, everybody. It's now starting on November 4 instead of October 28. This was a decision made today, and it's based on the fact that I believe it will be a, bit, a really tall order for Unknown Worlds to be able to put out Build 187 by October 28th and build one is okay I'm on fire so I've got to commit to this attack because I'll never be able to get back to healing time so I'm just going to fully commit no I'm not on fire what am I talking about can I actually kill someone there was a lot of alien body in that corridor which meant that I survived for a while even against those sentry guns have I got resources I must have resources to evolve let's get some fade on why not and let's fully upgrade it to 56 resources going into this fade so unlikely unknown worlds will be able to put out that build by uh, October 28th, just because 186 took about two weeks longer than expected and 187 is going to be a hot fix. So 188 will hopefully be the tournament build and uh, that's that's what we can look forward to and it's going to take a little while to put out and that's why the tournament has been pushed back a week. Any team leaders who uh, are unhappy with the new tournament times, I updated the Google Calendar today. If you're unhappy with those times, let me know. I'm here to help. I will change things if necessary. Uh, it's it's about me facilitating I'm your play. It's about me general. creating time for you to be able to play, not the other way around. I, you are my boss. I'm not your boss as teams. So talk to me. Let me know what your needs are. Speaking of needs, I know a couple of teams are looking to recruit some people. 
And if you are one of those teams, let me know because I'm going to be running ads for teams that need players very, very soon. So I'm going to run through each team one by one in a video showing you, uh, showing you who they are and why they'd want you and their logo and all that. And uh, it'll give all you viewers out there an opportunity to join a team in various <laughs> geographical uh, regions. Is that is that a good way of phrasing that? Geographical regions, 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 regions. It will be a great opportunity for anyone viewing in SHT to join up one of these teams. Going to take a sneak peek around this corner. Looks like we got those two sentry guns. Let's come up behind this one. Looks like the face get under attack, blinking sideways to get out of the way of that marine. Going to come back. Grenades going off. Gonna have to switch to alien down here, but we'll be able to see. Gonna get behind these two, flamethrower. But I think I can catch Visor unawares. No, and he shotguns me. Whoa, am I gonna get out? I am gonna get out alive. Yes, I am. So it'll yeah, give mate. all you viewers an opportunity to join a team in your geographical region and uh, actually play in the natural section to HD tournament because you are so welcome to do that. And if anyone still wants to register a team, you may, because while I do have 16 teams, I know that it's the nature of the beast that some teams will have to pull out uh, close to tournament or on tournament date. And uh, rather than have teams go straight through to round two without a fight, it would be great to have some teams in reserve that want to play and uh, whoa, there's an arcane. I'm really enjoying this Marine team's play. I wish I was on the Marine team almost because they're the underdogs right now and they are attempting to fight through. So what I'm going to do now is going to try and position myself to blink behind a Marine. Here we go. It comes out and try and get some hits in. Unfortunately, I fail, but hey, that's all right because I've got a hive back here. I can heal that, recover my energy, and then try and do it again. Interesting that the flamethrower is not crashing this server. Usually it does in build 186. At least that's what I found. And I believe it may be that... Uh, I don't know, I've got no idea what it is, actually, I have no idea. 9v8 as well, huge amounts of infestation and structures all over the map, so... Well, there you go, I guess it's just how it is. Um, the infestation created by Andy Schimmel, who is a... Uh, I hope I got your first name right, Schimmel. Oh, God, tell me, please tell me if I got it wrong. Um, whoa, lol, it's Joel. Yes! Managing to kill one of them there, not sure who it was. Don't know if it was the flamethrower marine. Gonna chill here and get cloaked up. What is this arc doing? This is the most aggressive arc, and he is gonna finally kill that arc. I swear. You can't see that I'm doing from an alien vision, but I am. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Far out, Russell Coit. Russell Coit! Russell Coit's out. <laughs> Why do I need to go there? <laughs> oh, this arc, you know what? I paid it out. But, oh, it's multiple arcs stacked on top of each other. Oh, you bug exploder, Mr. Alchemy. I suppose fair call. Probably not intentional. He probably just sent them, and they all just came together. Grenades going off left, right, and center. Can I kill any of these arcs? Has that hive died? No. Oh, but I'm dead. Well, that's just embarrassing. Damn, I have no idea what I was talking about. Oh yes, Shimmel. Shimmel created this infestation. I will talk about that in an actual changelog and gameplay video when 188 hits. But this this gooey moving infestation you see here, while still a placeholder and while still not the final infestation, the dynamic infestation that Unknown Worlds has tech demoed to us in the past, it is a placeholder and it is really cool and it was done by a community member. He, uh, I think Unknown Worlds provided a new texture for him to work with. I'm not sure, don't quote me on any of this, I'll have to get more detail before I talk authoritatively about it. But it now bubbles up, and it looks really cool, and I think as a placeholder, it's excellent. But remember, this isn't the final product, it's just something to, to make the gameplay, uh... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Someone, I need a dictionary. Yes, one kill, come on, make it two, make it two. Getting a hit on something though. I don't think it was a marine going down through Deke's grenade there, unfortunately. So it's something to make the gameplay prototype mechanism. Does that make sense? This temporary infestation is in there. So we can prototype uh, infestation oh, gameplay for Unknown Worlds to show and so they can see how the gameplay works. Can I kill this marine? Oh I got stuck in the roof. Press your control key to stop that happening. I do manage to kill him while he was building that phase gate. But press your control key when you're on the roof. I'll demonstrate. 
I'm on the roof, I'm on the roof. I fall off the roof by holding control. I'm on the roof, I'm on the roof, I'm on the roof, I control. And that's easier than, say, running up the roof like this and then trying to run down. You just, you lose half a second there and try and do that. Oh, copy. That was amazing shooting by Ordeal. Props to Ordeal for some great accuracy there. My final note in this random cast before I sign off and uh, maybe just keep quiet for the for some more alien play without my commentary is my frame rate. Some comments were made by a couple of uh, concerned people on uh, video number 300 saying, hey, the frame rate in this video seems a lot higher than in your other videos. And there's a very, very good reason for that. And I might even devote a whole video to, the, to this topic. But in short, it's because of motion blurs. Uh, YouTube restricts frame rates to 29.97 or more colloquially 30 FPS and that means there's no point in me recording the gameplay in anything greater than 30 FPS because YouTube will just cut it down as soon as I upload it. So I record this gameplay as I try to kill FK. Oh come on, yes I'm gonna get him. What? Die! There we go. So as I play this, this is in uh, this is in 30 FPS for me. If I turn off fraps and stop trying to record this, my FPS shoots up to 60, 70. I do have a relatively powerful computer. It uses an ATI 5870 and an X6 1090T to produce these videos, but when I'm not practicing, my frame rate is higher. So it's incorrect to speculate that I somehow made MS2 look better by adding motion blur to my vi to like video number 300. It's in fact the opposite. What you're seeing is a frame rate that's lower than what I'm achieving. Of course, I'm not trying to doubt that NS2 has frame rate issues, it's just not that that was a, an issue with my video, that's not what was going on. So what Motion Blur does is it, it drags pixels out for some, I basically set it to one quarter of a frame, so whatever movement a pixel made between frames, it gets drawn out one quarter of a frame between the two frames, if that makes any sense. Can't spawn because of the spawn bug by the way, which Unknown Worlds will patch in Hotfix in build 188. But, um, so that's it, that's, that's what I'm trying to say for, for video number 300. I added the motion blur because it was a more cinematic video, so it's just for its looks rather than trying to analyze the gameplay like this. I'd never add motion blur to a video like this because I wouldn't want anyone to think that, that Natural Selection 2 actually had motion blur. I just add it to 300 because 300 is fun and I just want it to look as good as it can because it's just for people's viewing pleasure. And if they want to see what NS2 really looks like, they can see all other 300, well, sorry, 295 videos or so that don't have motion blur. And I really can't spawn, this is quite sad. Anyway guys, that's it. I will devote probably a more technical whole video to talking about that as Chiron frantically tries to protect his harvester there. He's not going to succeed. It's going to go down. So this is a cool comeback from the Marines, probably due to the fact that aliens are incapable of spawning. But um, apart from that, it's pretty cool. And it's great to see these huge areas of alien infestation. It looks really cool. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this rather rambling and long alien cast. But it was fun to bring to you and I can't wait to bring you more in future including a build 188, which is the hotfix for the 187 changelog and gameplay video. I'll see you all soon, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and good night.